morning, good morning. It's um, Thursday, <laughs> 23rd of March. I just had a quick look at the diary. And we went out yesterday and um, went around the town and went to the charity shops. I have to say, we don't do this every week. We kind of got a three week um, blitz that we do. We try and visit each town once a month. Just so happens that when we went in February, because we had a few days off, we did them all together. But generally speaking, the idea is that we do one town one week, one town another week, one town the next week, and then we skip a week. That That's the whole idea of it. Um, so we went uh, shopping this week, as I said, yesterday. Um, the shop we went to, all skirts and trousers are 99p, and everything else is 199 The only exception to that, which I'll show you first, is a little shrug. For some unknown reason, it was on the 99p rail, but mostly on that rail, it's trousers and skirts. So let me show you that first. And as per usual, I'm going to be going in and out of camera. Um, so this is a little uh, shrug. It's um, country casuals. I think it says it's a medium, which I think is probably about 14, 12 to 14, something like that. Um, and it's quite nice. It's got this crochet work and it's got all this sort of glittery bits and bobs in it. And as I said, that was 99p. Then we go on to trousers and skirts. Now, I hadn't heard of this make before, but it looked quite posh. Hogs of Fife. Hopefully that's coming out. Um, and they're basically just cords, ladies' cords. They are quite expensive new. I think they retail for about £50, but on the second-hand market, I might only get about £10 for them. But, you know, they were only 99p, so that's absolutely fine. And they're in beautiful condition, by the way, if you can see that. Then we've got a pair of... Oh, and I forgot to take the label off this. So that's just to prove they were 99p. Let's take that label off before they get photographed. Um, so these are jigsaw, um, they're size 10. As I said before, I don't get a lot of size 10s if I can help it, but because these were so cheap, and they've got quite a lot of wool in them. Um, oh, quite a lot of wool, they're 100% wool. So it's 100% wool. I don't know whether that's coming out or not, my camera's a bit tricky. Um, and they're basically just smart trousers. They've got this quite nice zip detail at the bottom. Um, again, they were 99p. I'd like to get about 15 for those because of the wool content. Um, then we've got a pair of Marks and Spencers. And these are not 100% linen. They're a sort of linen, I think they're linen viscose mix. The label's quite faded on these. Uh, polyester linen mix. Um, they're just your basic wide leg trousers. They've got this quite nice belt detail at the top. Uh, Marks and Spencers as I said, and they're just your basic wide leg trousers. I've measured the leg and it's 31, so that's quite a good good sort of length to have in trousers. Um, again, because of the linen, I might shoot for about 12 on those. Um, now, this was interesting, and if anybody knows that I'm doing this differently, please tell me. It's brand new with tags. The label actually says Buffy's, um, hold on, it's the wrong way around, Boutique. Getty Road, Chennai. So it's come all the way from India. I think it's called a Banjara, but if I'm wrong, and I think the work is called Chot Choti, but if I'm wrong, then, you know, don't crucify me. But it's beautiful. I don't know whether that's work's coming out on the camera. Um, it's, it's beautiful. It's handmade. It says it's at large, but again, I'm thinking it's about a 14. I have measured it. Um, and um, yeah, 199 again, and I, I'm hoping for about 20 for that because of the amount of work that's gone into it. Then we've got um, a sea salt jumper. This is 100% lamb's wool. It's a size 16. I think sea salt is a sort of West Country sort of um, well-known company. It's got nice button detail there on the sleeve, and again 199. I'd like to get about 15, maybe a bit more for that, maybe maybe pushing 20 for that. <laughs> 199, as I said. Hold on, hold on. What have we got here? Oh, this is a jacket. This is a men's jacket. The reason I picked it up was because I love the colour of the lining. I just think that's so cool. It's like rainbows and unicorns. Look at that colour. Um, the, I hadn't heard of the make, but I've looked them up. They're quite quite a good make. It's 100% wool, pure new wool jacket. 
um, and it's Douglas the Business. That's the, hopefully that's coming out. Douglas the Business. Um, and as I said, what drew me to it was the colour. Um, and I'm hoping to get about £30 pushing it maybe, but £30 for that jacket, we'll have to see. Right, so that's that from that bag. Carrying on to bag number two. This is the only thing I think I regret picking up. Because it's nothing special, apart from the fact that it's Bowden. Um, it was one ninety nine. I don't know. It's just nothing special. I might get a tenner back for it, but maybe shouldn't have picked that one up. That's probably the only thing I regret out of this lot, actually. This is nice. This is Joe Brown's. Joe Brown's always does really well. This sort of hippie festival... Um, Caftani look always does really well. I'm gonna push about 15 on that. That's that was 1.99. Then we've got a quite a nice dress. This is um, what I call like an office smart sort of. Um, it's the wrong way around. That doesn't help. Smarts and Spencers. It's like a shift dress, grey, dark grey shift dress. It's lined. I just think there's some businesswoman that has to have this dress in her life. I think it's a size 14. And, um, yeah, it's got a split up the back. It's just your basic sort of office wear sort of dress. Um, and that, again, one ninety nine. I hope to get about 15 back on that. Again, I hadn't heard of this make, but I like the dress. And I always think if you like something, then just go with your gut instinct, even if you hadn't heard of the name. The name is Mela, Mila Loves London, size 12. Really, I like this lace detail around the neck. And then it's just your basic cotton dress, but it's lined, which is nice. It's got a lining underneath. It was $1.99, and again, I'm going to push for about 15 on that. This is a Debenhams dress. Again, what drew me to it is the pattern. I just think these really summery, funky patterns are great. Again, it's a size 14, probably came from the same girl that uh, donated that one. And uh, again, 199. Hoping to get about 15. Then we've got a skirt. This is Jaeger. It's um, a size 12. It's khaki. Um, it's actually educated me a bit because it's cotton and modal. I'd never heard of modal, but apparently it's similar to cotton. So I learned something looking at, looking at this skirt up. It's basically just a long A-line skirt. It's got pockets, which I think is just really great. I love long skirts with pockets. Um, and again, for 99p, you're not really going to leave it behind with a name like Jaeger on it. Um, probably, again, I'm going to push for about 12 to 15 on that. Then we've got some more Jaeger. These are pinstriped wide leg trousers. They're lined. Just your smart, you know, trousers. Um, I'm not sure these have got pockets, actually. I don't know why they don't think that ladies need pockets in trousers. It really annoys me. It used to annoy me when I worked in an office, anyway. Um, but it's fine. It's got all its buttons. The zip works fine. They're in good condition. And again, they were 99p, and I probably push for sort of 12 to 15 on those. Then we've got a grey denim skirt. I think this one's Peruna. Yep, yeah, Peruna, size 14. Just again, your basic grey A-line skirt, but it's nice and long. It's got belt loops, 99p. Again, 12 to 15. Then we've got some um, Marks and Spencers, slim leg trousers, size 16. Don't think they're anything special. I think they're just polyester. Uh, yeah, viscose polyester. But again, they were just your nice, smart, dark, wide leg trousers. They have actually got pockets with zips, which is nice. And again, somebody needs to have these in their life, I'm sure. Um, probably get about £10 for those and they were 99p so that's absolutely fine then I've got a uh, 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 oh it's a Laura Ashley Laura Ashley pure new wool skirt size 16 it's the old fashioned Laura Ashley um, label I need to look up to see when that is but I'm thinking 1990s it's got this quite nice um, 
stitching detail around the top there and it's again it's just your basic long black skirt it is lined it's a good quality thing hopefully somebody will think for 15 pound that that's a bit of a bargain and is this the last one this is the last one folks so we've got a marks and spencer size 16 uh, with its spare button which is always quite nice Suede et <laughs> faux suede, in other words, skirt. But it's nice, it's nice colour. This sort of plummy purpley colour is always nice. It's just your basic A line skirt. Um, is it lined yet? Yeah, uh, no, it's not lined, it's unlined. But it's nice, and I just thought for 99p, somebody will probably grab that for a tenner. I might try for a little bit more and see what happens. And there we go. Um, I think we worked out that we spent about £26 altogether. The return on the whole lot, if I get what I'm asking, should be about £241. So not bad at all. Um, quite a good day's little haul. And uh, weather not looking so good this weekend, it might be a bit iffy. We'll have to see what we get to. But definitely we've got an auction. Whether they've got anything we want, I don't know. The catalogue might be online today. I'll have a look. Plus we've got a jumble sale on Saturday afternoon. Supposedly an outdoor jumble sale. Uh, outdoor jumble sale. Outdoor car boot on Saturday morning, supposedly. But the weather is a bit... Uh, and Sunday morning and Sunday afternoon car boots again both outdoors so it just really depends what the weather does so anyway hopefully next week I'll see you with another another haul I hope you're having a good week and take care everybody bye